I thank the gentleman for yielding. Today's timeline reveals everything about the programs and the politics of the majority running this Congress. This afternoon, they gathered at a White House. The President signed at a time of staggering deficits yet another tax cut, skewed to help the most affluent by do well doing little to help those who needed help. This evening, in the middle of this debate, they're going to recess so they can go to a big fundraising party and reap the special interest contributions of those who have benefited so much from their cash and carry government. And after that, they're going to come back to the floor of this House and vote to raise the national debt as part of this budget. That's right, raise the national debt as part of this budget. I haven't heard Mr. Putnam say anything about the language in here that raises the national debt. $653 billion. It was buried on the bottom of page 121 of their budget. It is a mere two months since they last raised it. They raised the national debt in March. They pass a tax cut. They have a fundraiser. And they come back to the floor of the House to raise the national debt again. In fact, it's the fifth time under this president that they have raised the national debt. June 2002, May 2003, November 2004, March 2006, May 2006. And do you know what? They're planning on raising it again once the election is over. If there is any further, clearer evidence that we have a totally irresponsible majority running this country into a fiscal ditch, that is requiring unending borrowing, which will saddle our children with a legacy of debt. I don't know what could more perfectly illustrate it than the events unfolding today. Sign a tax cut, have a fundraiser, raise the national debt again. That's the fiscal record of this majority. That's why this budget must be defeated. I yield back. Gentlemen.